everybody. It's been a minute since I've sent out a YouTube video, and some of my uh, radio buddies in the club was harassing me about it a little bit today. So I thought, hey, it's a it's a beautiful day to go out hiking. <laughs> nice gray skies. Uh, not the not the most glamorous days to be out hiking, but uh, as you know, I've got started with mesh tastic probably a couple of years ago. I was one of the early ones that, that adopted it into my comms plan. It's not my primary, it's it's definitely a secondary alternative. I do like the encryption of side of the mesh tastic. And uh but I thought I'd come out here today because this is a beautiful place to do it. Uh show some examples of where uh mesh tastic is perfect, you know, in being used, like hiking. A lot of times that you know, now I'm in the middle of our city here, so there's there's not a lot of issues with cellular coverage, but I know a lot of you guys out west and some other areas you get out there and there's there's not much cell phone coverage and stuff so what we do is we set up these little nodes and uh, you could deploy them everybody carries one on their pack you know and uh, MusiWorks I want to th say thank you they sent me these to to check out and everything to review and and I, I've just wanted to do that real quick and talk to you about these uh, so far Hands down, these are the ones I'm recommending anybody when they say, hey, what should we get? Uh, and, and I'll say that with some stipulations. For something that I can carry in my pocket, you know, I really like the little music works. Now, <laughs> my 16-year-old thought I was vaping when she saw this, but it's uh, so apparently it looks like a vape. Uh, it's not a vape, but uh, you can see on the bottom it's got the lights and everything in there, uh, the USB-C. Uh, this uses that popular rack 4631 board and uh, the thing i like about this is i can go now there's no gps no display it's just it's in my pocket and uh you know i've got a tahoe that i keep a, another note on and i relay through it most of the time so i'm not worried about range so i've just got the one that's got a very strong you know this is uh i'm not sure what kind of it's 3d printed but it's it's durable very durable and this I can slide in my pocket, hides in there just perfect. And uh, now, because it doesn't have a GPS, you do have to use your phone's GPS if you want to use some of the mapping capabilities. But honestly, you don't even have to do the mapping. You can just do the texting features. Now, I still get a lot of people ask me about the, you know, they, there's still some disconnect about not understanding that because we are using a cell phone, we're not using a phone, cell phone service. We're simply using the cell phone's Bluetooth to interface to the radio. So these are just little radios. Uh, now, if you're somebody that needs one that's got a little better range, maybe you don't have a car with a, a relay in it, or something, you know, I'd say in relay, but technically a client mode, uh, something to relay through though, you may want to upgrade and get with the one that he now offers with external antenna options. Standard SMA on there, and uh, comes with a great little antenna. You can upgrade this if you wanted to. The, the radio and everything's the same. It's still the 4631, no GPS. All the features are the same. Uh, and he's got them in different colors and stuff like that. I've got my backpack out today. I can strap, you know, it's got a nice little pot spot there. You can run something through a, a lanyard or whatever, hook it to your backpack, whatever you need to. So perfect little spot like that. And uh, especially when you're out hiking and hitting the trails like I am today here in the beautiful Ozark Mountains. This is an old uh, homestead that uh, is here in our city. Uh, there used to be a house here. I think that's just the barn there, and he's got a chicken coop right there, but uh, I'll show you that on the other camera. But uh, I've always wanted to come up here and uh, just take a look. It's We're on top of a hill. So what I would do if I was, you know, had a whole group with me out here hiking, as far as my review on these things, they work great. The battery life, I can go about a week I'm gonna, let's just stay with a week to be safe. I think I've gone a little further than that. Uh, I, I'm gonna say at least a week, if not longer, on the, the battery life. So uh, they work really good. You're not, you're not wasting battery with the GPS. Your phones pretty much have GPS in them anyways. And uh, they, they hook up to mesh just like everything else does. And, uh, and then also you can switch it over and run ATAC with it. So Android Tactical Awareness Kit. And uh, that's, that's it down there. I'm, been playing with that some more and doing some uh, incident command. Uh, Meshtastic has a lot of stuff in the works. It's still growing. Uh, I, our uh, local 
community here has grown like crazy. I've, I had 42 nodes I saw there the other day, so it's definitely growing uh, leaps and bounds. And, and so uh, we're getting a lot of community leaders on board with it too, so excited about that. And I'm getting an opportunity, I get to uh, demonstrate, talk about it a little bit with some of our emergency managers here in a couple of days. And uh, the whole county's kind of curious about what it is, you know, and stuff. So. So great opportunity to get out there, talk about it. But if you like, if you want to try out some of these, uh, now just know when you're ordering, it's called the Musi, uh, Musi Works R1. He has two versions, the ones with the external intent option or the one without. So definitely recommend either one. If it's your everyday carry, you don't have relays that you can bounce through, go with, go with the one that's got the external intent option. Uh, I, I like to carry mine in the front pocket so the antenna comes out. It's, I mean, honestly, it's not even that bad, but uh, for me, I just want it's, it, it. I always say get the radio for your whatever you need. For me, I like a radio that can, you know, I can conceal it pretty easily. Don't have to, you know, have a lot of stuff sticking out. But then there's days like today where I'm hiking on a trail and I want to throw something like this on the strap of my backpack, get it up higher, extend it out, use a higher gain antenna, stuff like that. So, there's not like a one perfect radio for everything. I mean, there's 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 radios that specialize for certain areas and stuff. So uh, just like, uh, you know, DMR and stuff, you know, you, you may have a radio that you like for certain things like this radio. I like it because uh, it's supposed to be rainproof and waterproof and I've done some tests with it on the, on the channel. So if it's cloudy like this, I'm not gonna carry my nicer radio that doesn't have you know ip67 rating you know water protection i'll carry something like this so so same thing with the the mesh get the one that fits your your needs the best um if you have a really good network you may not need the high gain antenna so something like this in your pocket but i will say it is it is pretty limited on range without that external antenna so so something like that. So when you go to order at the cart, just select the external antenna. I think it's like 10 bucks more. So it's not not huge. And you can see how it's mounted there. We'll switch here. Just a little spot there. It doesn't feel weak. Nothing feels weak. These I, I squeeze these quite a bit just trying to test them, you know. Uh, it's nice and durable. Power button. It's the 4631 rack. Back 4631, so you got the reset button, USB-C, and the power button here on the bottom. So anyways, I appreciate you guys following along in this journey of the radio communications and uh, being prepared and stuff like that. So any questions, as always, feel free to reach out. You're a great community, and uh, we'll talk to you later.